Hey, what's up, guys? It's Pixie Poo here, and I know a lot of you guys get triggered when I call myself Pixie Poo. And for all those people out there who don't like it, well, guess what? Guess what? I don't care. I don't care. You know what? Because of you, we're officially changing my channel name to Pixie Poo. And we're just playing Minecraft. Every day, we're going to have a new Minecraft video. All the thumbnails are going to be pictures of me making over the top facial expressions. And all the titles are going to be super clickbait, even more clickbait than what I currently use. And this is all your fault. You think you can do these things, Nemo, but you can't. You think you're in control. I'm in control. I'm a loose cannon, and you'll never know what to expect. Nah, I'm just messing with you guys. We're playing the Great War mod. This, of course, is a mod for Napoleon Total War. This is a one versus one online battle. Now, unfortunately, we're playing on a vanilla Napoleon map. This is not a World War One custom map, but I'm just happy that this replay works because this mod is so unstable. It's nearly impossible to get replays of this game. That's why I don't upload it as much. But yeah, Germany versus the French. We've got very strategic choke points, which is gonna make this a bloodbath considering the weapons and tools they are using so let's go ahead dive uh, dive right in check out these army comps and then we can go to normal speed so let's start with Germany here so the Germans they've got their army divided into multiple flanks on this right flank we've got Finnish Jaeger Finnish Jaeger and we have uh, some rifle infantry uh, people tell me all the time it's not Jaegers uh, because Jaeger is already plural anyways and then we got some Jaegers over or Jaeger I'm sorry I just did it he's got some old Jaeger so this is the older style beginning of the war uh, so back here he is bringing some stormtroopers with with SMGs because you know why not and he's got more elite uh, forces back here the guard infantry again the old style uh, back here he has a heavy howitzer He's got some Hussars, which is good to have some Cav even at this time. He has his General. And then over on this side, he's bringing a tank. This is the Mark II female tank. And I know, I assume the tank's gender. That's just a, that's a joke that just never gets old. It's always so funny. But the female tank has a turret, and the male tank has a cannon. So that's the difference. In my experience, the female tank is usually a little bit better for this mod. And then over here, we've got Imperial Marines mixed in with this unit called the Alp. Corps, I think so yeah uh, it looks like a rifle infantry in the back here he's got a couple units of uh, more Imperial Marines so that pretty much wraps it up for the German army or the German Empire actually you know what he's got some Vanguard units he's got rifle infantry or rifle grenadiers and he has some snipers which are already getting bombarded and about to break my goodness look at that that was awesome to get the fire behind that dude all right so let's look at the French army he's got snipers that are getting shelled as well uh, as well excuse me and there it looks like they're having a bit of a sniper off uh, against the German snipers uh, for the infantry he's bringing just rifle infantry oh, I love the uh, French uniforms oh and this unit right here the grenadier elite just got shelled to death and not to death but they definitely lost some soldiers there from German oh my god there they go flying across the battlefield he's got some French foreign legion which is cool and then over on this side he's bringing some rifle infantry he's got some dragoon dragoons for his calf oh, my goodness look at those uniforms the blue and red that's a nice combo over here we've got more more rifle infantry in reserve some mounted infantry aka cavalry <laughs> i don't know why it's called that and then i, I think it's a melee cav basically he's got his general or oh look at this uh, uh bonjour general uh that was cringe and then over here we've got the french foreign legion old which is another beautiful uniform and he's got his uh, heavy field guns he's not bringing the howitzers so he's outgunned in this fight so let's do normal speed because the germans are now assaulting their crossing being very aggressive so it's actually pretty smart of them to um to have their rifle grenadiers to uh, have a bit of a vanguard capability to try to hold down now the french are not being aggressive uh, so it's up to the germans i assume to really get this battle started and take control of this battlefield all right so is that actually do we have some mortars over yeah we got some heavy mortars so there we go. It's uh, it's better than just having field guns. Oh my God! Look at, look at those uniforms. These are nice. I like these. The mortar crew. I would join this this crew right here just because of the uniforms. Also, you know, you get to sit back and fire a mortar, which seems to be a little bit better than having to be, you know, rifle infantry. You can see on the battlefield already that the infantry. Look at this poor guy. Look at that. Just tangled up there. Just tragic. 
Uh, so yeah, lots of bombardment. Uh, we've got French forces actually pushing across the battlefield near the field guns. So they might be trying to get a secure location, maybe trying to set up the field guns because they are limbering up. So maybe they're going to try to get it a little bit closer. Let's see what's going on on the other side. The French are greatly outnumbered here, but they do have the high ground. Uh, he's got his rifle, infantry, his dragoons ready to attack, but the Germans are advancing with hundreds and hundreds of Imperial Marines. So the French, uh, well, what are they going to do here? They should probably fall back that or prepare to hold the high ground and just try to kill as many as possible. But it just doesn't seem like the French are aware, based on their formation, of the advancing Germans. Come on, France. Come on, I'm rooting for you in this battle just because you're the French. Let's do this. Uh, over on this side, the, the, we got Finnish Jaeger... Uh, forces pushing forward. Uh, the snipers are holding the ridge. This is a close combat for them. If I was controlling the snipers, I would get them out of there. And there goes the flying French. Uh, <laughs> the French are now flying at the Germans. They do break the Jaegers on the German side. But over here, we do have a, uh, a little land bridge crossing where the Jaeger old is now advancing. So the Germans are just kind of throwing their Jaegers at the French. Oh, we got some chasseur. Uh, old chasseur. Chasseur. Uh, so again, another beautiful uniform. So they're they're popping some shots, breaking these. Oh my God! Look at the trail of dead in the water. The fishes. The fi Did I seriously say fishes? Oh my God! Over on this side, just massacre. The French were so focused on the other flank that their entire force over here is now dead. The Germans taking a huge victory there. I mean, he really used his Jaegers as a, as a bit of a, di a diversion. And this sacrifice hopefully will not go in vain because they just took out two healthy French units. And that's going to be a huge loss for the, uh, the French. Um, but uh, the French are now making a move. They've got to try to recover from that situation. We got Grenadier Elite pushing up. Uh, trying to dodge the artillery. Oh, yeah, not doing a good job of doing that. So yeah, they're they're dying pretty quickly. The morale is getting uh getting uh weakened by the bombardment, and we have some stormtroopers with SMGs. This unit must be like you got to take out this unit before they get up close. Artillery should be focusing down the SMGs because they're a bit broken in this mod. Usually I play no SMGs just for realism and balancing purposes, uh, but if they are on the battlefield, you gotta take them out or they will mow down your troops. The French are getting some shots. Oh, there we go. There we go, look at that. That is just silly. Now I don't know if they're effective at this range. Uh, by looking at it, it doesn't seem like they're getting a ton of kills. They might have to push forward and get a little bit close. Oh no, they're they're wiping them out. <laughs> no, oh the artillery. Good God. Uh, so the French, yeah, yeah, I would break too. I think he's falling back though. He's not breaking. Let's see what's going on on the this other flank where the Germans are now marching over the defeated dead, and uh, yeah, they're just they're just stabbing any of the uh, surviving French. <laughs> it's a horrible horrible thought. Uh, but they're going to take their time. He's, he's doing the, a, a fantastic job using them well, those Imperial Marines. Uh, oh, the artillery. Now we got the mortars. Okay, that's good. That's smart. Mortars are trying to soften up this flank. You can see them firing in the background. Get ready for another bombardment coming in. Let's see if it does any damage here. Woo, yeah. <laughs> now we got some flying Germans. So the Germans are going to cross this, this pathway. More mortars constantly bombarding this unit. This is good. Germans definitely have to make a move here quick. I would leave a couple units. Don't cross them all. Oh, now we got the French Foreign Legion putting down suppressing fire. This is a very tricky situation for the Germans. I wouldn't have crossed right away. What I would have, what I would have done is sent some extra reserves around this way first, tried to you know occupy the German forces and then try to cross. But the good news is that he does now have center troops ready to uh, advance on the French center position. Uh, we've got the Mark II mail tank. So he went with the mail tank, which I think in this situation, that's going to be pretty rough for him. He should have went with the female tank because we all know females are superior to men. No, <laughs> just, just kidding. I'm just messing with you guys. Just just throwing out some trigger and stuff. God, the cringe. The French Foreign Legion, though, we'll just move on. The French Foreign Legion. Uh, they're doing a great, great job of stopping this flank. The Germans need to attack now. They need to attack on all fronts because it's just giving the French opportunity to focus down his forces. So these guys need to be moving forward. 
Uh, look at this. Now we got Grenadiers set, uh, coming over this way. Finally, the Germans have set up a nice high ground position to... F oh, yeah. There goes the Foreign Legion. But that's okay. They're just foreign, right? <laughs> uh, man. The jokes today. Uh, no, the Foreign Legion, they're down to 26. That's why he had to send over some Grenadier Elite that have... Uh, they lost, or they, they've taken some casualties. They're now invisible. And <laughs> there they go. They reveal themselves, firing a volley into the, the German forces. It just seems like the French, unless they have, like, hidden units somewhere, the French seem to be doomed in this battle. Uh, now, he does have a small force pushing this way. I think he's going to try to get around uh, German forces. Uh, I think he's, gotta, he's got to do something like this, right? The French need to make a move. Oh, God. It's, oh god, don't clump, don't clump up your troops, man. Spread them out, try to fire down. Okay, so we got stormtroopers with SMGs. Fire now, do not let them set up and fire at you. Let's see, form up, guys, form up. French Foreign Legion, old, old period, old, or not old period, but what? you know what I mean. The old style French Foreign Legion. Chasseur, let's see. Oh no, the SMGs are awfully close. Come on, you gotta fight. Oh, the artillery is just too much for the French. And there goes the shot. Oh, they're starting to drop though. SMGs are down to 68 men. The more you kill, the more lives you'll save. Keep firing, hold your ground. Don't you break, French. Don't you break, damn you. See, he just doesn't need to be this close to kill those SMGs. Now, to be fair, the Germans, they push forward to get a little bit closer. Uh, but that artillery is shelling this position. Oh, the, the Germans took the, uh, what is this, the town hall. So that they're going to be using that as their, what, headquarters? And there we go, the Germans, or I'm sorry, the French. They, they've got some extra reserves, some rifle infantry now supporting this flank. And they also have the mounted infantry, which might need to get mobilizing. Uh, you might need to charge them in. They Are they popping some shots? Yes, they are. Okay, the Germans are now going to hike the hill a little bit. They're going to continue to fire from multiple angles using the high ground. The, the French need to... Oh, okay, so hold on. Hold that thought. The French are now holding down the center position because we have advancing Germans crossing no man's land to try to take out the French trenches. Come on, hold that. This dude's in, in the trench. That's like the ultimate defense. Uh oh. The Germans are breaking in the center lines. We got rifle infantry just can't handle the French center French center lines. We've got anti-tank snipers moving forward. I did not see them earlier on. That's pretty cool. Anti-snake uh anti-snake. Anti-tank snipers now moving up, I assume, to take out the tank, you know? Uh that would be a, a good idea. Let's see what they're doing here. They're, wow, they're getting awfully close. Uh, I don't know what kind of guns these guys have. I don't even think they're going to make it to that tank. No, they broke. Why did he move up anti-tank sniper so close? I don't know if they have, like, a close range uh, weapon. Not really sure. But the Germans... Now, you know, at first, it looked like it was going to be rough for the French. But this is a nice maneuver by the French. You see, he kind of... He, he went backwards here, so he wasn't so drastically outflanked uh, so he's kind of reform reforming his uh, his army also with the tank support actually doing a pretty heavy number to his troops where's that german tank uh the german tank has not been mobilized so that's something we got to look out for the smgs were defeated that were they were they defeated yeah they were defeated so they did not fall back you can see the aftermath of this fight most of the smgs are dead the french able to hold on to this flank they might want to push across here and attack the german flank so the really the german strength is over on this side this left side from the german point of view the french tank spinning around a little bit whoop, 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 whoop. what is it doing <laughs> come on Wow, that's that's a pretty well-designed tank being able to turn so quickly like that. Look at that, amazing! It's like it's sliding on glass. Uh, it's actually repositioning to fire at the uh, the, the German flank. Uh, so in the last the last Great War battle, the Germans were they def yeah they were defeated by the Belgium Belgians. Uh, let's see if the Germans can defeat the French today. I don't know. It's looking pretty even. The balance of power is pretty close. Now remember, the Germans, all they have to do here is just stay alive. 
because they have they have superior artillery. So if they can just constantly sit back and skirmish the French troops, that artillery just can continue to bombard the French. Unless the French try to make a move for that artillery, which they could potentially do. They could go through this way. I don't know if he's, he might be thinking that there might be some Germans waiting to ambush him. He, uh, the Germans have their hussars, though, close by, which are probably protecting the uh, the heavy howitzer. So it's really a difficult situation for the French. Uh, the French are definitely the underdogs in this battle so far because of what has happened so far and just like the, the weapons they have. Unfortunately, the mortar crew is dead. They lost the mortar. We have Chasseur. They're pushing forward. I think they're going to try to uh, push the German center lines. The Germans now falling back. They might be falling back to their inner trenches. But again, all they need to do is stay alive. As the Germans, just stay alive. Let that artillery be protected and continue to bombard the French. And you will destroy the French. Now that puts a lot of pressure, like we said earlier, on the French to make a move here. He's got 250 cav that have not seen any action. They could probably, if he can find a way to storm them in. I mean, they could probably charge the center lines. You just gotta find where the Germans aren't gonna expect it, you know, so they can't set up and, you know, get a bunch of volleys into your cav. Uh, but the Germans are, are now maneuvering their troops. I think he's gonna get them up on this hill. Artillery, God, this is so epic. Artillery bombarding on these Imperial Marines. They're gonna head up. Oh, oh, shots fired from the mounted infantry. But I don't think they got any hits. Most of their shots going into the dirt. I think the Germans are also pretty afraid of that cab, so that's why they're mobilizing the Imperial Marines to try to take them out. There we go, they're getting some hits now. Uh, nothing like game changing. Oh, and the, it killed nobody. That shot killed nobody. That's that's just hacks, hacker. No, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but no, the French now have a much more open view to these Imperial Marines. The train is no longer blocking their side of view, but they should probably retreat the mounted infantry because they will get overwhelmed by the German forces. Uh, the, the tank is pushing forward. The Germans have fallen back to the inner parts of the city. And we're at a bit of a standstill. Uh, so both armies have traded a lot of uh, a lot of forces. Yep, that was silly, guys. Oh, French. You should have you should have done that like uh, 10, 20 seconds ago. Uh, but thankfully he still has 152. But he lost Wow, he lost a hundred men there? Oh my god. He lost like 98 men. That is that's that's huge. And that one volley, that just shows how devastating these rifles are in this mod. You gotta be careful about it. Okay, so the Germans... They got breaking troops back there. Uh, this is their strongest force, for inf infantry-wise. Uh, now, of course, they've got a small handful of troops here. Buildings are now crumbling. So the French are not gonna... They're not gonna push blindly into this... This German-controlled town. And, of course, the French are not going to try to flank around. I would try to send one unit that way. Maybe maybe catch the Germans by surprise. But it's tough to say because the French, they don't have a lot of infantry. So they kind of need every single man on the front lines. But remember, guys, in Napoleon's total war, artillery, artillery has infinite ammo. So the French... <laughs> They, they've, it's either they move forward and fight or they die. So it's, it's his choice. The fact that he's being so de indecisive right now could mean disaster for the French army. Let's see what he does here. He is starting to move up his troops, which is good to see. Got a bit of a gunfight going on here with the Grenadier Elite. There's the officer. The officer, he kind of looks like he has like a white... A, a white long sleeve shirt and he cut off his uniform at the sleeves <laughs> That's what it looks like That's an interesting uniform All right, so how are the grenadiers holding up? Trying to take on the rifle infantry. It's pretty uh, pretty rough for them Now we got rifle infantry from the French Artillery from wanting their position, but they stand their ground and they try to soften up the rifle infantry of the Germans. Uh, they seem to be pretty safe. They've got this like sunken road a little bit. 
Uh, over on this side, the SMGs. No, this is Rifle Grenadiers. They're now uh, pushing up against the French. And the French. Oh, what happened here? There's a bit of a, a fight. Let's see. Four Grenadier Elite. But because they're Elite, they're not breaking. Are they trying to throw grenades at the, uh, the Rifle Grenadiers? Are they breaking? Oh, they broke them. The Germans are breaking on this flank. The tank? Oh god, the tank he's been saving for this moment. Some people wait a lifetime. A moment. Let's see if this tank can uh, destroy some dreams. It's in position. Not quite in range. It looked like he was going for the four grenadiers. Look at these grenadiers. Champions. Champions of the battlefield. Oh no, it is in range. That was from the tank. That was from the tank. More Germans breaking. Where is this? Oh, the French did a bayonet charge with his grenadier. Another grenadier elite. That's what I'm talking about. The aggressive play. Breaking German forces. Over on this side, the German tank's getting peppered down. But thanks to the heavy armor. I, honestly, I don't know if, if the infantry can even kill the crew inside the tank. Not really sure. But this is a big problem right here. They've got to deal with this. Not only the center, but they've got to deal with the... Oh, and here comes the Hussars. The German Hussars, this is a well, this is a good, you see the Germans, they were very smart about conserving troops, and they're using their, their cav, which could have easily, see, this is the same player, remember in the last Great War battle of the epic cav charge, I did slow motion, that's the same player, and I think he learned from his mistake, he's now using Hussars at the best situation, at the best time, He's running down depleted troops, and this is like the deciding moment of the battlefield. Let's see if these French forces can hold the high ground as the Germans come storming in and just pushing back the French troops, slicing them up with their sabers. And uh, I don't know. Let's see. Are they going to break? French Foreign Legion, they're pretty tough. More cav funneling in. The French are trying to fight them back. We've got the stormtroopers with the SMGs. They're still very healthy. And now the French are, are moving up their mounted infantry, but it's a bit too late. Uh, obviously, they're sending over their cav to try to support their infantry against enemy cav. Let's see. Let's see if... Wow, these the French Foreign Legion still holding, but barely by a thread. The SMGs... They're charging the hillside. <laughs> Screw you, rock! Like, what are they doing? There they go. Now they're going the right way. They're like, oh, it's overextended there a little bit. See that? I mean, the French might actually hold. Their, their morale is going up, so we might actually see the Cav get there in time. No, no, the Cav decided to back away. What are they doing? Are they running down German infantry? Interesting enough. Very, and it's too late. The, the French have broken the, the foreign legion. The SARS are going to shoot them in the back because they're, they're brutal bastards. And now the French are going to go for a desperate cab charge. The balance of power is heavily in favor of the Germans, but you never know in this game. And also the balance of power for Napoleon Total War is a little glitchy. It's a little strange. Uh, see, the Germans are now going to push for the French artillery. So once again, these Germans using their cab very effectively, very decisively. Let's see. Oh! Nope, nope, that was their chance to break the cab, but they shot a little too soon. There we go, there's a shot, point blank, but again, it's a little too too late. Uh, so, the French field heavy gun, or heavy field guns. Oh, here comes the French, though. Now, the French might be able to defeat this cab, but it's too late. The artillery, the French artillery has broken. Come on, if the French have any glimmer of hope, they've got to kill this, this unit, the, the Hussars. They've got to get them off the battlefield. I love this epic cav engagement. World War I cav engagement. Uh, the balance of power is pretty even. Uh, but I think just based on numbers, the French are going to be able to win this. Oh, this guy's prancing around. Yeah, come on, break. Break you Germans, you damn Nazis! No, I'm just kidding. I know, I know. It's not the it's not the right war. I know, jokes. But the the French able to defeat them. They have 47 cav left. 
and uh, they have an opportunity to possibly take out that artillery, but they've got to move fast. And the tank is moving back. He knows. Watch out for that tree, though, tank. <laughs> Watch out for the trees, man. Uh, this is a, the tank's going back. The Germans still alive on this flank, actually pushing what was once the French front line. Uh, the French forming up with the chasse, chasseur. Let's see if these uh, French, they're outnumbered, but they've got 101 men, uh, which, let's see, how many, well, they've got 110 here, 85. So they're outnumbered by quite a bit, but they have the high ground, they have the defensive position, they also have a mortar crew guy. No, no, no. Yeah, a heavy mortar crew. What is he doing? Wait, who is this guy? Is he breaking? Ah, uh, he's breaking. I was hoping he would charge in, but... What do, you, what do you expect? And the general could also charge in as well. I think you should definitely mobilize this general. Put, yeah, put him on the flank. Uh, put him behind the hill, though. You don't want him to shoot the general. Let's see, come on, move foot. Oh, God, French, come on. You can do it, man. Oh, no, keep him moving. Don't leave him there. Oh, God. Up. Uh, yep. Why? Why? Dang it. Dang it, all to hell. The French should have just kept charging. God. Like a good old hammer and anvil, pretty much. Uh, but here comes the SMGs. Ready to clean up the mess. We also have the German general who's uh, close by. That would have been a problem. And uh, what happened to the cav? The French cav? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's going to be a German victory here today. But a close fight. Uh, Knight of the Veil vale leading the French. And we have Joe Cadell leading the Germans. A uh, really good, good game by both players. But I, I think the French... Uh, just made a couple mistakes uh, that just he couldn't recover from. Uh, he had a couple small opportunities, but even if he was able to accomplish those opportunities, it still wouldn't have been certain victory. Uh, like, for example, with the general, if he was able to charge in the general, he might have broken this flank, but he still would have uh, had to dealt with the SMGs and the German general. Uh, so, great fight. Wonderful. What, from the German Empire, great use of keeping back reserves, using units when most effective. I think that really won him the battle. Uh, I really love how long these 1v1s lasted as well. So here's the kills for the German player. So thank you guys so much once again for joining me in another online battle. It's always uh, it's always great fun to do these. So if you enjoyed it, uh, just let me know. Say, say hello in the comment section. I always check those out. I check out the comments. I try to read them all. Uh, even even the ones that are asking for third age all the time. I'm, I'm watching you. Uh, but thanks guys, and I'll see you next time